Well, Sean, a spokesperson for Jefferson Parish told me it was a mechanical issue, but as you see here behind me tonight, despite the rain or heavy rainfall, there's still sewage department employees coming out here to try and fix this issue, which neighbors are calling ridiculous and absurd. Trickling water is usually a soothing sound. How would you describe this? Disgusting. But not when the source of the water comes with a nauseating stench. I wouldn't expect this really anywhere. It shouldn't, but not here, no, no. But it's not, it's not expecting or even acceptable. Neighbors on Edenbourne Avenue in Metairie said raw sewage with feces and toilet paper has been flowing out of several manholes on their street for at least two days. I have to go past it, come around it, trying out. If you didn't see me coming through, I was trying, oh God, don't step in this, and now I got to get in my car. You know, so I don't want that on the bottom of my car as well. A spokesperson for the parish said one of their lift stations had a mechanical issue Monday. They said they cleaned up and sanitized the street, but neighbors said the sewage came back and infiltrated their street again Tuesday. I had never seen it bad like this, but since Monday, it's been what you see right here or not until they come by and kind of holds it down and but then throughout the day it builds right back up. The spokesperson said a temporary pump was installed and should handle the service in the meantime. Neighbors praying the problem is found soon, keeping the feces water out of their street and the odor out of their air. Both smell and the fact that people are walking through it, and people are walking their babies, they got to take the baby carriages out here and go through it. Uh, it's just not even healthy. And the spokesperson also person also told me today that they will determine what the issue was. The exact issue is in the morning. And he said at that point in time, they'll determine how long it, it will take to fix. Live in Metairie, Michael Vincenot, WDSU News.